As I mentioned, the reason I approach you guys to come back and chat is I get a ton of search traffic for people looking for Red Frog events um, every day, uh, whether it's Red Frog events, Joe Reynolds, Red Frog event interview questions. I'm, my first question is why are so many people looking for you guys? I think people are looking for us because of a couple of reasons. First of all, we do a tremendous amount of recruiting now. We've experienced explosive growth and to keep up with that, we need, we need people here. Uh, doing all the work it takes to put on our now 80 events that we have worldwide. So with all that recruiting comes a lot of traffic to our website. In addition to that, I think it's our culture that we have here. It's, it's really special and unique. As, as you can see, we have rock climbing wall, we have a full tree house, uh, we have a zip line coming, and a lot of fun features around the office. So I think building that culture and that special office environment has really uh, uh, attracted a lot of tra uh, web traffic to our site. and and interest in working at Red Frog events. In the, the tree house, the rock climbing wall, I, mean, you, I saw a tricycle over there. Yeah. Um, when you came up with Red Frog events, when this idea was born from, from your imagination, did you foresee all this kind of culture being created or did this just naturally happen? I did. It's something I worked on from the early stages of the business. I wanted to create an environment where I wanted to come to work every day and, and where it, the people that I came to work to work with every day felt like family. So it was a focus and we do put a value on purchasing some expensive things like a treehouse or rock climbing wall because we want people to feel comfortable when they come to work and we want them to like being here. Uh, so yes, it is something that I was focused on from the early days. And, and this kind of culture, I mean, is, is pretty... Um not extreme, but you walk in here and you're, you, you do a double yeah. take. <laughs> is it, in your experience, is this contributing to productivity? Or, because I, I could see devil's advocates saying that this would take away from productivity. Does it? Uh, I think this increases our productivity here. Uh, people have an incredible workload. Uh, we want them to feel comfortable coming in and, and staying late if needed. So. We also provide people with free meals after 7.30. We do a family, Red Frog family lunch once a week. Uh, and having this environment on the surface, it probably looks like everybody is out there having fun and playing all day. But really, uh, they're working hard and getting a lot done. I was, when I was researching why, when I was researching why so much web traffic was coming to my site, I saw this, uh, an account of a person who interviewed here recently. And this is what he said, and I quote, Standing there off the elevator, I felt like Charlie gripping his golden ticket at the gates of the chocolate factory. <laughs> That's, how does it feel to know that people who want to work here view you as, as the most magical, I mean, Willy Wonka was amazing. How does that feel? I it, mean, is this what you're working to create? You want that kind of reaction? Absolutely, and it makes me feel great knowing that we're getting there because we've worked really hard to, to create a work environment that people will love to come to. and. It's, it's showing because we are attracting a lot of the top talent from all over the country. A lot of the interviews we do now, people are flying in from all over the country and even around the world now to work here. So wow. it feels wonderful. It, it's, it's working and I, I feel like uh, all the hard work that I put into creating this environment and this culture is really starting to pay off now. How, how do you even get started with creating something like this? I mean, you talk about how you want to create an environment that people want to come work at, that people really feel comfortable and really happy here. How do you figure out the elements that contribute to that? Like, how do you know that a treehouse is going to make me happy? Uh, I don't know that a treehouse in particular will make you happy, but I think it's the overall feel that everything combined uh, is a comfortable place that most people would want to be. So whether it's the treehouse that does it for you or the free Red Bull that we have in the fridge, uh, usually something will connect with, with everybody here and, and make them feel at home. And then is, when it comes to the different elements, is there some sort of like company contribution? Like, do people pick out certain elements or is it just kind of, it happens? I mean, you one day decide that, you know, the, the rock wall would be great. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, it happens. Uh, somebody came up with an idea to have a trike, so we bought a trike. It, it fits with what we're trying to do here. We mm -hmm. recently got an arcade game, same deal with that. Uh, somebody dreamt the idea to create a Lego table, and we built that from scratch with 50,000 Legos. Um, so yes, and then also our, our architects. We work with the wonderful firm, Torsha, who uh, helped come up with the, the whole theme of Camp Red Frog. 
And you were just telling me before before we started the interview that you guys have a culture book now. What yes. inspired that and why why create that? Uh, I really respect what Zappos.com is doing and Tony Shea, and that's where I originally got the idea. They do a culture book at Zappos, and I thought we have a very compelling story here. So I wanted to tell that story through a culture book. And for me personally, it was a very fun project. Uh, it took about four months, and we wrote the entire book. It's about 100 pages that really uh, focuses on our culture and, and our story and our incredible growth we've experienced the last couple of years. Is that now what you will, going forward, is that what you'll use to kind of make sure that everything culture-wise adheres to? Like, is it kind of like, you know, when you mentioned the trike, you know, well, okay, does the trike make sense to the culture book? Is that kind of how it's going to go? Not exactly. I, I think the culture book is just there as uh, something to highlight what's happening behind the scenes at Red Frog and to help with the recruiting efforts and just to get our story told. We have over 5,000 of them. They're free to anybody who wants one. So we encourage all the Red Froggers to take books to family and friends to help spread our story. I, I'm just... I, I look around here and it's like I said, I can see the Charlie and the Charlie, yeah. the Willy Wonka Charlie um, comparison because there's so many unique things. What separates Red Frog from other companies? Like you mentioned Zappos, they have a pretty unique culture too and they have a pretty, I've never been out to Vegas and seen Zappos, but I've seen pictures, I've seen videos, I've seen their culture book. Yours is different, you're, you're, and not in a bad way, but you have a different culture. But I would say you're both up there in terms of great examples. Yeah. How are you guys different in your eyes than uh, other cool cultures out there? Right. Uh, we, we, we call ourselves the Red Frog family, and it's not something we just write on our website. It, it's something that is true and real, and everybody here feels it. Uh, I know that anybody in this company wouldn't flinch at staying up through the night if there's a project that needed to be done to help another Red Frogger. Uh, so I think that true family bond and family feel that we have here is what makes us most unique. And I saw, and you speak about your website uh, and about being family. I saw on your website that you have a list of 10 beliefs. Like, we live with passion for what we do. We think innovation is paramount. We do more with less. I imagine those aren't just copy on your website. Are those more than just copy? They are. Uh, we fully believe in all of those. Uh, we do believe we're the best at what we do in this industry. Uh, we, we do laugh hard and often here, and it, those are things that we truly live by. And they aren't just something that we made up and tried to live by. We, we saw how our culture uh, developed, and then we wrote uh, how, we, how we do business here into that, those 10 values. How much, how much of those 10 values and your culture come from your personal experience, from maybe your, what you did before Red Frog events? Uh, quite a bit. I, I think those uh, definitely come from me, but it also comes from, from uh, all the Red Froggers and, and how our culture has evolved. So it's kind of, it starts with you, but then these guys are what makes it whole. Yeah, exactly. That's exciting. It's, <laughs> you know, you look, like I said, you look around and it's just, um, it's so unique. Yeah. Where, um, let me load this up here. How many, th this is something I've been wondering, how many applications do you receive a day in terms of people applying here? Well, I know we're at about 2,000 resumes a month now that come into Red Frog. That's uh, on a constant basis? Constant, yeah. Uh, we're, we're always hiring. We're growing so quickly right now. And I think it's because of the culture we've built and the office that we have here that is attracting all these people from all over America now. And uh, we're fortunate enough to have 2,000 resumes a month coming in. And, and we're hiring now at a rate of uh, about one out of 150 resumes that we get. So we're attracting incredibly talented people and I think that can fully be attributed to the culture that we have. How important is that? You mentioned one out of 150. How important is it that they really are a, a perfect, do they have to be a perfect fit for the culture? Can they be a semi-perfect fit and then you hope they'll grow into it? Or how, they, how much emphasis do you put on culture? They do have to be a perfect culture fit here. We, we feel, we interview them for their abilities and their talent. We also interview them for, specifically for a culture fit because they need to fully uh, believe in, in all of our values here to, to be able to do their job to the best of their ability. So we, we, if, if they're the best that we've ever seen with, with certain talents and abilities, we don't care if they aren't gonna be a culture fit here. They need to have both. Yeah, I mean, to me that makes perfect sense that you'd want people who really, really fit in here. What, um, I mentioned before about devil's advocate. People might say yeah. this, you know, detraction productivity. 
But I'd be curious from your experience, has there ever been any criticism of the culture here? Or I mean, is it just so likable that really there's nothing you couldn't like about it? I haven't personally heard too much criticism. I think once you walk through the doors at Camp Red Frog, it's hard to, to not get excited about what you see. So sure. I haven't yet. Yeah, I was just thinking from the point of someone watching this and thinking, you know what, we should create a culture like this at our company, but what are the downsides? And I don't, I don't know if there are any. Are there from your experience, from, from, from a business owner's perspective? You're running a company, your goal is to you know, make revenue. Is there anything wrong with this at all? Uh, this is working phenomenally well for us. We also offer one of the best benefits packages in the world. One of the things included in that is unlimited vacation days. Devil's Advocate might say, whoa, that will get uh, abused. Mm -hmm. sure. It doesn't at all. On average, people here take two to four weeks of vacation, just like any other company. They're truly encouraged to take vacation whenever they want, but they don't because of, of what we created here with the culture. Uh, everybody feels uh, super committed to what they're working on, and, and they follow through and get it done. Even though they're able to take unlimited vacation days, they don't. Yeah, I was looking through your benefits on your website. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that's a huge selling point for all the 2,000 applicants coming in. It is. You guys have, I mean, all sorts of, um, I think there was even like some sort of a cash or a, what was it? Um, we monthly, have, yeah. We offer an event budget. We want to encourage everybody here to go and see other events. We offer an office decor budget. We want people to customize their office and make it feel like home so they're comfortable here. We have a sabbatical that people can take every five years, fully paid by Red Frog. They get to travel around the world for a month. Uh, so we have a lot of exciting, uh, unique benefits that we offer here as well. Where do those come from? I'm, I'm, I'm generally curious. Uh, as a job seeker, I would love the idea of being able to take a sabbatical every five years. But as an entrepreneur and a business owner, as you, I'm wondering where did you even get the idea for that? Uh, I have a passion for travel. I've traveled to about 50 countries around the world, and it's something that I feel like has made me grow as a person, and I want everybody here to continue to grow throughout their life, throughout their career at Red Frog events. So I think that was an important thing to add, that every five years they can go uh, grow as a person and see different corners of the world. That's exciting. Have you ever uh, heard stories of people coming back and saying, thank you so much, this is what I learned, this was awesome? Uh, the catch is we're only three and a half years old as a company, so I'll be the first person. <laughs> <laughs> I come up for sabbatical next summer. <laughs> so so pretty, I, pretty I look soon. forward to taking my sabbatical. Any idea where you're going? I think I'll be going to Africa. Have you ever been? Uh, I've been to Morocco, but I'm going to do the east side of Africa this time. I've, I've never been either. I just I think it'd yeah. be a really fun, exciting sabbatical. Yeah. <laughs> you have how many how many people are here right now at this moment? Uh, we're at about 75 employees now. Se uh, 75 total. Total. Okay, so that's across. Okay, wow. Yep. And only a year and a half ago, we were at six. So our growth has been pretty explosive over the last year and a half. You were at six? Six employees, yeah. So we went from six to 75 in a year and a half. And I, you have, in three more months, we'll be at about 115. And you have 2,000 or so applying every month that want to become a part of yeah. Camp Red Frog. Yeah. What inspired the, the camp idea? Uh, that came from our architects that, that designed the office. They sat down with us and got to know our business and how we operate and, and what we like, and they came and proposed the theme of Camp Red Frog, and it hit it dead on with what we do here, and I loved it. Yeah, especially considering that you guys put on events. I mean, that's what you do. You're outdoors all the time. Yep. It, to me, it was like, I don't know what else would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, so you have, um, I'm just trying to think of the specific things you have here that I've seen. There's a, a tree house with a working slide. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, a rock climbing wall in the back. There's, I saw in the, I don't want to call it the cafeteria, but the eating area. Yeah. There were chairs that kind of hang from the ceiling. Yeah. I imagine are usable. Oh, definitely. Uh, a tricycle. I, you mentioned that you kind of, you and the team come up with this stuff. Yeah. What's that process like? Does someone just come up to you? In, like the tricycle, for example, you said someone wanted a trike and you said that actually fits in with what we're doing. Let's do it. What's that process like? Do I just come to your office and say, you know what? We could use a tricycle. That's it. That's all you have to do. And <laughs> if, if it fits well with what we're doing here, I'll probably approve the purchase. And from a, from a boss standpoint, how do you determine whether something fits your culture or whether a tricycle will, you know, help? 
Um, is, it I, just, is it a gut thing? I mean, yeah, it's just a gut yeah. thing. I take it case by case, and I, I think I usually approve most stuff that people come to me with. I think they really get what we're trying to do here, and usually there are a lot of great ideas. So it probably all goes back to the fact that you're only letting people into Camp Red Frog that are going to not abuse power and that are going to just really roll with what you've created. Yep, that's the luxury of having 2,000 people applying every month. We get to decide uh, truly the best people, the best fit for what we're doing here. And what would you say is the, the number one factor that created that luxury for you? Uh, I think the number one factor is uh, just the, f the family feel and, and the culture, the overall culture that we have. The office is a bonus, but I think it's people wanting to work for a company that really cares about all, the, all of their employees and, and values all their hard work and what they do. And where did the idea of, I guess a lot of companies say they're family, but most company offices you walk into, that doesn't feel like a family. Right. It feels like the office, the show. Right. I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, well, I guess they actually feel like a family, but I feel like the environment is a big part of family. You know, like when you walk into a stereotypical office, you don't feel family. Yeah. But you walk in here and you feel family. Yeah. What, what is it? Where Where is the feel coming from? I think, it, again, going back to, it, it all circles around where uh, we create a great work environment, a great culture that draws in the right people, and then by drawing in the right people, that creates the, the family. And it keeps going around and it, it works wonderfully for us. Gotcha. So it's a big circle. It's not yeah. just the, the people. It's not just the environment. It's you got to keep going with all of it. Yep. What's your number one piece of advice for someone watching this who says, I love Camp Red Frog. I want to create a culture, unique culture of my own for my company. What's your number one piece of advice for them to do so? I think first you have to look at what type of business you are and, and, and how you operate and then uh, take a step back and look where your values are and then start building it from there. Uh, and, it's not going to be Camp Red Frog for every company, but every company, I think, does have something out there that, that would fit perfectly with them, that would create a unique work environment that their employees would love. How did you look at yourself? How did you look at your company and say, this is who we are, back at the beginning? Uh, at the beginning, I wanted a place where I could walk into work every day and truly be excited when I walked through the door. So I knew if I created that for myself, it would follow through and, and other people would feel that way. Thank you.